Hello! So as you can see, we've got our body, and what we're going to do today is we're going to hopefully finish off getting this front part down. So, I'm going to focus now on getting the loop for the abdomen. So, I actually want to bring this, Now I do want that coming in. So, we actually, you'll notice that I'm straying off again here. Um, there is a reason. I, I want it now to... I was actually moving that the wrong way. I'm trying to now create some of the ab muscles that are around the stomach. And try to not click the back bits. Okay, there we go. So, uh, I'm noticing that some of these go in way further than they should, so I'm going to bring those out. So it's a relatively round stomach, but then the front bit will be a lot flatter. And this will come down again. Next up, I'm going to bring this over here. And I'm going to have the side view again. And again, we're coming back. That's all we're doing. It's getting it around the body. Trying to keep things nice and even. And I'm going to hide this now. Oh. I just moved it. Cool. So as you can see, that's obviously something I want to fix there. Just making sure I can get it nice and twisted around to get the rest of the body. And then I'll jump onto the side views in a minute, just to make sure everything is nicely added up. Brilliant. So, as you can see here, I do need to bring some of these in because I did actually start to level it up with the center of the body earlier. Uh, yesterday, sorry. And we do have that crease on the back. I will probably add in an extra loop here, but I will do that later when we get most, more closer to the um, buttocks area. Now, I'm going to go down here. Let's start again. I think I'm going to do four. And then in. And do I need to come in by one or two? Two. So, I'm going to go around here. I'm going to come in on this one. So I'm keeping an eye on where the belly button is now. You'll notice that. I don't think that's quite how I want it, so I'm going to keep an eye on it for now and then fix it in a minute when I get to there. Yeah, so this is about right. So this is how I want the top to line up. So you notice I'm not worrying too much about the depth at the moment. I'm just going through it. But this would be a five-sided shape, which is not what I want, which means I probably want to dissolve that edge, and then I've got one, two, three, four, bam. 
attachment to this one, so they need to come down a lot, a little. And we end up with this shape. But obviously this needs a lot of tweaking. So, first of all, I'm going to select these bottom ones, put on the of gravity controls. Make sure it follows the contours of the stomach. Which will already make it look a little better. But next up I'm going to this. Now I do want it to come in a bit because we're coming in from the ribs. But there are other bits that are a little bit off still, so I'm just fixing some of these. I think I might end up with another loop down the front. So if I separate these. So it sort of separates there. And then I might end up putting another loop in down the middle like so. Because um, that will just provide a little bit more control. But I do want to do some more with this. So I think I might add another loop in here, which means I should select this one, bring this one down, bring this one down to Alt select here, bring this one down a little. This one up a little bit more. This one up a little. Print because we're going to want to turn this. Oh, ah. We are going to want to do an invert on this part to bring it in to connect to the bottom, to the middle. But we won't do that just yet. But now I'm going to start bringing side bits around. So I may as well select all of these and bring them all out at the same time. We will make a belly button as well. Uh, so here's an issue, so the actual muscles are coming out further than the rib cage. So I do want to bring this in, which will need, I mean I need to bring in some of the other parts too. Because there should be a slight dip in. There we go, so we're getting sort of a shape that we want now, a shape that you probably recognise. Ah, so we actually need to come out for the hips more here. So if I bring these over like that, so. These also need to be coming in, which means this bit needs to sort of come in. This bit needs to come in too. So this is obviously the bottom of the ribs there, so I need some of these to be coming in more. And then these to come out, which will create the actual sort of curve that we've got here, which means these two probably need to come forward, and this one too. But I'm also thinking that these probably should come up more. So if I bring these up a little, so that they actually sort of loop around the top of the hip rather than So you can see how the body is coming along well here. Uh, once again, I'm going to make this invisible. And how useful having that reference image is as well. It is very important that you have some sort of reference image. That you don't have to follow it to the letter, but you do need something because 
if you have nothing, you'll have nothing just to guide where you can see potential issues in the future. And this will just loop up around the back. Okay. So I'm just going to connect it there like so. And, do, 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 do. and if I go onto side view, I might need to turn this on because I don't want any of this to. Definitely going to need an extra loop down the back because I've got quite a large. This is quite large, so I'm going to need an extra one there. It's good to know, good to know, but I won't need to do anything about that yet. I'm just doing a small clean up there. Now, we're not in a, um, a hurry. <coughs> uh, obviously, some of you might be um, taking more time than me. Some of you might be rushing through this. And either or, both are fine. You will uh, always find that different people work at different speeds. But I want to show you my full process, which means I want you to see everything I do, including every small changes that I make, um, everything along those lines. So next up, I want to make the hip beginning, which I want to come out from over here. But to do that, that would require quite, let me bring this back, a large face here, which I don't really want. So I'm going to, I'm going to go merge vertices uh, by distance because I just slightly ruined it. So you can see how I'm curving this round now. Brilliant. That's a lot better. Slightly, we still have some large points here, and that's fine. But we'll bring some of these rounds. So obviously, I'm making it on a flat plane, which is not really what we want. So that we're starting to now get to to the point where we're going to begin curving around for the sort of crotch area. And this bit will be making it where the hip goes. And don't worry if it, about things that look a little bit weird or off. It will sometimes just look a little bit weird and off for a while. Just while you're still tweaking. So I realise there that I'm going to need to have it curl around a bit more. Uh, which means I'm going to need to bring these up a little and this up a little. I'm just going to slide these down a little as well. Just because I don't feel like I need them to be that thin. And it will make it much nicer when subdivided. Uh, which we can always check at any time. Really. I'm realising that these probably need to be more forward. Which I mean this one does too. It's subdivided now, that's more like it. Uh, so I do need this one to sort of even out the area. And it'll also mean that this one and this one, because this is still meant to be a rib, should be a more like this. So now if I subdivide it, there, we're getting some shape in now. And that's what we want. We want some shape in our body. Bring this back a little, just to flatten it off. So, as this is coming down and around, it will eventually I'm going to just bring this piece down here. Uh, I'm actually going to bring this to the lowest point of the crotch area. 
which will then be over about here. And then we'll have a look. We're going to have to obviously turn off clipping to move it off, turn on clipping to keep it back there again. So, yes, as you can see, the two are not aligned because there is nothing along this axis, which would be the lowest point in the crotch area. And that is fine. We aren't worried too much about it being aligned. But I obviously want at least two vertices to go under there, which means I am going to need something along this sort of lines. But I feel like what I'm going to end up doing is something more like this. So I'm going to need to subdivide this. And subdivide again. And something like that. Because now if I bring some of these around a little. We'll start getting it to curve round, so that it's going under, and this part will need to follow it. And we don't want a large bump because this is a female character, but we begin to get the curve for the body. As you can see here, we had a weird bump out area, and this is why we look at it from all different angles until we can get it correct. I'm bringing it forward a lot here as well, you noticed. And then I keep checking it with the subdivision on as well. So I'm seeing that uh, this comes out a lot more than I want it to. So I'm going to pull this in and this in. So I do want, although I want the stomach to look relatively muscled, I don't want it to look like it sticks out. We're going for muscled, not um, chubby. I apologise to anyone that's uh, particularly body sensitive. I'm going to bring that back up. I'm going to bring these ones in to get the crease down the centre of the stomach. There we go. Obviously, we need to put the insert the belly button at some point as well. But for now, I'm just going to clean up some of these vertices because there are quite a few of them that I feel like could be just ironed out that little bit better. Check where the belly button is, it should be around up here. Yep. So I'm pulling this up a little. But I'm getting some stomach. I actually think I want to bring it back down again. I kind of like how it was. But we're getting some stomach in, and we'll get the legs in, and we'll connect up this back part of the thing, which again means getting rid of that. So we do have a hip now, and this will also make up the top of the um, buttocks area. And we're not going to work on defining the... Um, buttocks in this episode, that will be done later. If I delete this one and just bring these three down. And I'm going to wait until we have a full buttocks in order to start defining it before we start that. But I'm going to make sure that I have it roughly set up, which I don't. So as you can see, we're going to need to Turn on the proportional editing. Bring this up. And I'm going to need to shift more of these around. And I'm going to bring this back down because we don't actually want this one forward. 
So I say we're not defining a but, but you'll actually find that you kind of always are. It's all part of the shape. So you can see where it's about to start, but we aren't quite there yet. But we do have the beginning of the body here. Um, I'm going to quickly bring back our reference image. And I'm going to mark out where I want the thing. I'm going to delete this face. Oh, delete the face, not the whole vertices. Get rid of this subdivision modifier before it ruins me. Now I want to create a small square for it. Now I'm going to connect, 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 connect. Should make a small hole for the body. Perfect. And I'm going to bring these this one up. This one down. And you can already kind of see how, how we're doing here. And I want it to come in, not out. And I'm just going to bring it in, scale it down, and then we'll close it at the bottom. Brilliant. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than I think we need it. So I shall bring it in. And there we go, we have sort of got our belly button now. So check it in the uh, rendered mode. Obviously I don't have any lights, which is going to be a hindrance. So I'll check it in this mode. There we go, we do have the beginning of our body. And the next up, we will just need to bring the crotch area around to meet the back area which is probably when we will need to add in our additional loops. So if we go to front view, I want to make sure that we're just sort of making our way around. I'm using as few uh, edge loops as I can for a reason here. The reason being that I expect I will have to add in more, and that's what I want. I want to have to add in more, not less. There we go. It's a lot easier to calculate removing edge loops than it is. What's going on here? Ah, I see. So I have accidentally added in a load of vertices from the stomach. So now that is that bit connected up, and you can see where we're going to start with the legs here. Um, you can also see where the um, buttons will crease in. Because I will turn off proportional editing. I'll bring it in. And I'll bring these ones in too. So that'll be where that is. I'm expecting to bring in another loop. And we are basically done here for now. So for now, we'll accept this as what we've got for the time being. And next up, we're going to add in some legs. And we've got a nice, the, uh, I believe it's called a toriac cur curve. <coughs> and we're going to add in the legs next. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice evening.